Morning and welcome back. So today we've got a review, but it's to do with the van build. So as you know, we are doing a van build, and I am going to be doing a backup system in here. So we are going to do the electrics, but all powers have gladly sent us this power bank, which is the S yes, two thousand Pro, which it is in a nice sturdy plastic box. This can be thrown around, so it's going to be great, is this? So, let's go around it. So on the side, we've got the air intake. And then on the other side, the air outlet. On the back is what you call, I do, old school, a kettle lead to charge you up from the 240 mains. Two sturdy carrying handles, and here's the front of it. So, let's just turn it on. Keep your finger on it. Perfect. So I have charged this up to 100%, which I did use my solar panel on the roof to charge this. So first of all, we've got some AC sockets. One, two, three, four. Three pin plug. Working down here, we've got a 12 volt AC socket, which that is for your cigarette lighter. So anything 12 volt can be plugged into there and it'll charge something whatever you want to charge that is 12 volt you've got two usb c's and four usb's moving over this side read it manual i don't know what this is but on here it says recreational vehicle use only and it's like a three pin plug but different because this is an american brand I wonder if that's the RV in America that you can plug it into because over here in UK you have your adapter lead and then a three pin plug and you can plug into here and power your motor home so I'm assuming that this could be the RV one anyway moving on you've got the XT60 which is this one here so this one is where your solar can come into or you can plug into your cigarette lighter and then you know one end and then the other end at the xt60 cable end plug into there so when your engine's running you'll be charging that power bank usually about 100 watts or is it 100 amps 100 watts that's it 100 watts that's max because that's a cigarette lighter unless you get a dc to dc charger which comes off your main battery which charges that and that's a different story that can charge at 500 watts but that's a different video well that's how you can charge that straight off your cigarette lighter or straight to solar to it and my solar i've got 500 watts which has got xt60 cable which goes into there and that's how i charge this hey kids on tour and youtube family if you're loving the content here's a quick reminder to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment your support means the world to us so you've got your ac you've got your dc and uh, if you keep your finger on the dc button it's Bluetooth and you can use the All Powers app which gives you all the information of what's going out and what's coming in. Then you've got the battery, it tells you how much percent you've got, that tells you how many watts is coming in and then there's one underneath which is not showing at the moment which will show you what's going out. And there's a little timer here, yeah? so for example you plug it in a, uh, an air fryer into here example it'll tell you on the timer how much is left before this dies and then underneath we've got the information that's needed we've got a few scratches because it's been it back at van so it's saying on here 2400 watts which means if you grab your air fryer example air dryer straighteners a jigsaw what i'll be using for the van the chop saw for the van if you see this label and it says, you know, for an example, I'll tell you what, I'll just show you in it. So this is the jigsaw I bought. Do you know what? Looking at jigsaw, it's not on jigsaw what I want to show you. But it says here, jigsaw on the box, 350 watts. So that means 
because it's lower than 2400 watts it's going to power that and I just bought a chop saw as you can see on the pictures and on the box here it states 1200 watts so that power bank is going to power that and that's how you know what the watch you're using always look at the label so this power bank is going to be charged you know I've got my I uh, don't know if you can see but I've got the solar on the roof and I've got some cabling coming down and here's the cables which are connected to an XT60 cable would you better purchase that on their website if need be the extra cables and believe it or not it comes with a kettle lead and it does come with the cigarette lighter to the XT60 as well I'll stick a picture up here somewhere for you and that is basically the quickest view review I'll say that again eh that will be the quickest review ever what else can you talk about on it that it'll power anything up to 2400 watts so when I do my van build it's going to power my TV it'll power my lighting because all my lighting is going to be 12 volt 240 which will probably be my air fryer 240 which will probably be a microwave I'm not sure if you're going to do the microwave and the air fryer at the same time which it probably won't but you can do it one at a time so what I'm going to do now I'm going to crack on with this roof because I've got the battens I've got my cladding and I need my jigsaw to cut some beams and some tongue and groove to stick on the roof so if you want a power bank that will run a van build but not going to the expense of thousands and thousands of pounds but every van build is different because everybody uses different amounts of power so find out what you're going to use in your van add it all up in watts and what you're using at once and you'll find out if you just need a power bank or you need a three four grand installation on batteries so if you fancy one of these or any other of the old power products i'll put a link in the description because uh, these different models these are some great amazing prices at the moment i'll put the discount links in the below as well so i will catch you on the next video which is probably another review because i've got one coming up something else which is an amazing product for van lifers see you later Show in the world.